Hey everybody, today we are kicking off a brand new series called He Says, She Says. We're looking at one product from two different perspectives. I'll say something, Candace will say something, and we'll go back and forth. Today we're looking at specifically Borghese's Fango Delicato, and this is a mud mask. It instantly makes me think of uh, the Tough Mudder races. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've never done one of those, but you know, guys are just like crawling through the muck. This, of course, is like a more refined and nicer yeah. muck that you'd actually want to put on your face. It's not like gravelly. Yeah, I, I don't know that we want to. <laughs> not necessarily. So it is good to say that because I don't think you should assume that all mud is great mud. Like. These masks are obviously formulated in a particular way. This one in particular is really nice because it has I think, aloe vera, chamomile, um, green tea, and all of those are calming and soothing and really good for sensitive or dry skin. Um, right. I tend to do them on like Sunday nights mm -hmm. when I have a ton of stuff to do. I really like using them as like a multitasking tool. Totally. Um, do it for me, get the job done. So I'll throw in some laundry, I'll turn on the TV, I'll answer in some emails. See, I'm just the opposite. The few times that I've done the mud mask thing, it's been all about like carving out that sacred space, mm -hmm. you know, draw the bath, not to paint too vivid a picture, you know, but you know, board, bathrobe, Candles, that kind of thing. Cue the careless whisper. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Very sad. You can go either way. Yeah. Totally. Um, I think next time I'll I'll try the cue the careless whisper. Okay, and I will do the Sunday night NFL game. Yes. One thing to know about mud masks, um, I think people have a tendency to maybe like not put on enough. It's got a really nice creamy consistency, right? Um, in general, you want to make sure that you use enough product. It doesn't. You don't want to be like shy about how much you're putting on. It can right. be kind of this thickness, right? And you put it all over your face, um, but you really want to avoid the under eye area and around the like lips. So you're not putting it on your lips, you're right. putting it like just around. Right. And for guys, you uh, you might not want to do this right after you shave, but you also don't want to do it with like a full beard, right? because it's just going to have greater benefits if you like do it without a beard. So like five o'clock shadow is fine, you know, if you shaved a day ago, two days ago. Yeah. It's usually about right. Um, and other thing to know is probably you don't want to wear it for super long, especially if you're a beginner, like if you've never done a mask before, really, you know, the directions say like five to 10 minutes, like let's go with five to 10 minutes. Yeah. And I think this one also what's cool is you can put it on your hands or on your body and mm -hmm. it should give that kind of moisturizing um, benefit to that area of skin right, too. Firm. Right, totally. Um, which is really nice. Nice. Well, I think we've only got like 10 or 15 minutes before we have to jump in this other meeting, so... Mud mask party? Mud mask party? I quick think... multitasking? Yeah, I think it's great. Answer idea. some emails? Let's do it. Awesome. I think October lineup is all set. Yeah. Great. Great. So anything else you guys want to talk about? Multitasking. 